Hi, I'm Tom Cook. I'm an emergency physician, and I practice with Prisma Health in the University of South Carolina. This is a short video discussing the use of MAPSI as a way to assess left ventricular function. MAPSI is an acronym that stands for Mitral Annular Plane Systolic Excursion, and it's a very, very simple way of evaluating uh, for left ventricular function in your patients. To do this, you need to get an apical four-chamber view. And what we need to focus on is the mitral valve, and in particular, the annulus around the mitral valve. So the annulus is a fiber structure that sort of holds the valve into place. And we need to focus on this part of the screen, on the lateral uh, aspect of that annulus. And we're going to measure its movement as it goes through the cardiac cycles. It moves towards and away from the apex of the heart. To do this, we're going to go out of B mode into M mode. And we're going to take our M mode cursor, and we're going to move it so that it goes over the uh, mitral annulus, the lateral aspect of the mitral annulus, and we're trying to get the waveform that you see here on the screen. When we do get an, at, uh, an adequate image, we go ahead and freeze the image, and now we have to measure this distance from this distance, and it gives us an indication of how well that heart contracts in the longitudinal plane. So we'll go into our calipers. We're going to measure MAPSI. And when we do that and we touch the screen, it gives us two uh, uh, parallel lines. We put the first line down here in the trough, and we put the second line on the peak. And we take that measurement, which we see up here, which is 17. So normal for an adult male is 13 or greater, and normal for an adult female is 11 or greater. And we can see that this patient has a very normal MAPSI value. So in summary, MAPSI is a great way to very quickly and quantitatively uh, uh, estimate your patient's left ventricular function, and it gives you a lot of information for taking care of a variety of conditions that we see in the emergency department.